Hello, it's Matt. Welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're going to look at how to moderate your channels in Microsoft Teams. So what is channel moderation and why would we want to use it? Basically, moderation is the ability to control who posts in your channel. So why would you do that? Perhaps, for example, you had a company announcements channel in Teams and you wanted the corporate comms team or the marketing department to create the announcements so they could be read by everyone in the company. But you didn't necessarily want anybody else replying or creating their own messages in that channel. It wants to be nice and tightly controlled. Second example could be a classroom discussion. So the teacher might open up a channel to discuss a certain subject and then they could have their teaching assistants moderate the channel and pose the discussion points within the channel and have the students reply to those posts but not necessarily be able to create new posts themselves. So what can a moderator do? First of all they can start new posts in the channel so you can control that so only the moderators can create new posts. They can also add members as moderators so by default as we're going to see in the demo in a minute the owners are the moderators but you can add in other moderators as well if you want. So you can allow team members to reply or not, so you can control who gets to reply, and you can allow bots to create messages as well. All right, it's demo time. Let me show you how this looks in the Teams app. Now in this demo, I've got two people logged in, so I can show you the view as the moderator and the view as the normal user, the person who isn't a moderator. So I'm logged in here as Matt into the Teams app, and I am an owner of this group, so I'm a moderator by default. You can switch on moderation per channel, obviously. So I'm going to go to the sales channel here, choose the ellipsis and go to manage channel. When I go to manage channel, I see the channel settings and I can see the permissions here. And then you see I can switch moderation on off. Now, just as a comparison, notice when I go to the general channel, and I go to the ellipsis and choose manage channel, you can't switch moderation on or off in the general channel. It's only for new channels that you create. So let's switch back to sales, ellipsis, manage channel. Now I'm gonna choose the channel moderation drop down and turn it on. Now notice this area has changed. So now I've got a question mark here saying, who are the moderators? Now by default, the team owners are the moderators. So if you're an owner of the team already, you're naturally not a moderator. Now we can manage that if we want to. So if I press on the manage button, it's going to take me to a dialogue where I can see the team owners. Now notice I can't remove that or change it. That's just set for me. But what I can do is add in other people. So if I just start typing a name, I can then add in other people as moderators if I want to. So once I've done that, I can hit done. And now I've got my team owners and I've got that new user that I've added as well. Now I've switched over to Megan. So I'm logged in as Megan and she is just a member of this group. She doesn't have owner privilege and she's not a moderator. So now we can see what it looks like from her point of view. So once moderation has been switched on for the channel, you can see I'm in the sales channel. And now at the bottom here, I don't have the ability to create any more new posts. And I see this message saying only channel moderators can post in this channel. But notice that I have the ability to respond to existing posts. So for example, I can like posts, I can reply to posts if I want to. So now let's switch back to the moderator view and we'll change some of the other permissions and see what impact that has. So now I'm logged in as Matt and I am an owner and a moderator and I can see the channel settings for the sales channel. And down here in this section, I can see the team member permissions. And what I'm gonna do is just uncheck this one at the top. Now this one allows members to reply to channel messages and it's on by default, but if we switch it off and then now if I switch back to Megan, we'll see what impact that has on her. So now I'm logged in as Megan again, and you can see if I scroll up through these conversations, I no longer have the ability to reply to any of them. I can reply to the one that I've created myself or as Megan, but any of the other ones, she doesn't have rights to reply anymore. 
And finally, as Megan, I can see the settings for moderation, but I can't make any changes to them. So if I go to the settings for the sales channel, choose manage channel, I can see how it's set up, but I can't make any changes to it. So that's all about moderation in Microsoft Teams. I hope that's helped. If you like the video, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.